14 years ago, a love story began between English supermodel Naomi Campbell and Russian billionaire Vladislav Doronin. Their five-year relationship showcased a beautiful couple. But why did they split? What happened in their lives after the breakup? And who is the father of Naomi Campbell's baby? Before we get started, 70% of viewers watch without subscribing. If you love my content, your support through subscribing means the world to me. Thank you. Now let's begin. At just 15 years old, Campbell embarked on her career and swiftly rose to become one of the most famous and highly sought after models of the last 40 years. Her professional life has been incredibly successful. However, in her personal life, she faced consistent challenges. During her younger years, she was romantically involved with the renowned athlete Mike Tyson. According to witnesses, their relationship ended due to Tyson's rude behavior towards her. The supermodel was known for her strong emotions and occasional arrogance. She was also involved in various scandals and faced legal troubles. Campbell has been convicted of assault four times, having been accused a total of 11 times for acts of violence against different people. The pressures of fame and wealth took a toll on her mental well-being, Occasionally, she mistreated those around her. Her career always came first, catwalk, flights, shooting, and advertising interviews. Consequently, maintaining a long-term relationship proved difficult. She had romantic flings with Leonardo DiCaprio, YouTuber Adam Clayton, Formula One head Flavio Briatore, actor Robert De Niro, and others. At 38, she met Russian billionaire Vladislav Doronin at the Cannes Film Festival, marking the start of a serious relationship. In 2020, a friend of Naomi's observed, according to the New York Post, things seemed to fall into place when Naomi was with him. Her life felt more balanced and disciplined. Since then, she has undergone significant changes. She stopped creating scandals, settled into a more composed life, and appeared visibly happier. However, the question remains, who was the man she deeply cared for? Dornan identifies as an international real estate developer and art collector. Although he currently holds Swedish citizenship, it's common knowledge that he hails from Russia. He was born and raised in the Soviet Union, graduating from Moscow's Manos of State University. As a result, some media still refer to him as a Russian billionaire. Various sources on the internet suggest that his wealth is estimated to be around $1 billion. He accumulated this considerable fortune by making savvy investments in properties, specifically focusing on developing residential spaces, hotels, and commercial buildings. Dornan didn't gain global fame until 2008, coinciding with his relationship with supermodel Naomi Campbell. Reports suggest their relationship was like a business deal. The supermodel brought a sense of glamour to his hotels and properties, while he, in turn, treated her exceptionally well. They were seen together almost everywhere, attending social gatherings, enjoying luxurious yacht vacations, and casually strolling along the beach. Doronin constructed a futuristic home in an exclusive area called the Barvika District in Russia, just outside Moscow. It cost around $140 million and was meant to be a wedding gift for Naomi Campbell. Journalists referred to this place as Naomi Campbell's Russian love nest. The house comes equipped with its own spa, a 20-meter swimming pool, a sports hall, a nightclub, and even a Japanese garden. Many of Naomi's fans anticipated her marriage to the businessman. However, the relationship ended in 2013, and the marriage never materialized. From an outside perspective, it looked like the businessman achieved his goals. He gained fame while she received extravagant gifts. For Campbell's 41st birthday, Doronin presented her with an opulent 25-bedroom vacation home shaped like the Egyptian Eye of Horus. This stunning property rests on Cleopatra Island in Turkey's Gulf of Jacoba. Moreover, he reportedly purchased a sophisticated dress for Campbell at a charity auction, priced at £26,000. Their breakup happened because they lived different lives. 
According to someone close to them, Vlad didn't want her to work. This caused a conflict because she knew that if she continued working, she'd have to pick between her job and her personal life. Sadly, her personal life ended up taking a hit. Additionally, Doradin was too engrossed in the world of celebrities and luxury. While Naomi was busy traveling for work and filming her reality show The Face, the billionaire was having a good time in New York and Paris, frequently seen in the company of younger women. Nearly nine years have passed since their breakup, yet they both remain unable to let go. In 2020, Naomi Campbell took legal action against her former boyfriend, in an attempt to retrieve possessions of hers that he still holds. She has persistently requested the return of these items for years. Thorin responded by filing a court claim, asserting that the belongings in question are actually his personal property. He contends that his ex-girlfriend is withholding items worth over $3 million, insisting they rightfully belong to him. This story was a lovely tale of love that didn't have a happy ending. Although they never married or had children together, their relationship had a positive impact on Naomi. Her past struggles with anger issues, once highlighted in newspapers, gradually faded away because of this relationship. After their relationship ended, Naomi frequently talked about her wish to have a baby, whether she had a partner or not. She believed that advancements in science could assist her in becoming a mother at any age. For a long time, she had held on to the dream of being a mom and once declared that she was determined to have a child, even if she didn't have a man in her life. In 2018, she expressed her desire, saying, I really want to have kids. I'm open to anything in life. I adore children and always will. When I'm with kids, I feel like a kid myself. That's the part of me that I never want to lose. After splitting up with Naomi, the billionaire began dating a Russian model named Kristina Romanova, who is 32 years his junior. They now have two daughters together. Naomi became a mother at 50 and had a baby, but she hasn't shared how her daughter was born, except to say that she wasn't adopted. She mentioned that the child is hers but hasn't revealed how she was conceived. People haven't seen Naomi pregnant, so it's likely the child was born through surrogacy. However, she hasn't disclosed who the biological father is. Recently, Naomi seems more private about her personal life. What we do know is that she loves her child deeply and devotes a lot of attention to her. This shift in focus might be why she's more relaxed now and avoids creating controversies. It's unclear whether Naomi has a partner now. She has never been married, but it's clear that her daughter is the most important person in her life right now. Have you ever faced a situation where personal goals conflicted with a romantic relationship? Share your thoughts or stories with me. Thank you for watching.